Hi, tutors. Today I wanted to talk about writing about a film. What's the storyline? When you are going to write about a film, it's important to activate thinking about topics that your tutee will encounter. So for the film that I am going to address, it is important to first have a discussion about family. So you can ask questions like, what is family? Who's in a family? Like, who are family members? But keep in mind that our 2 ts are often um, from uh, adverse situations. They may feel um, traumatized when they think about family members. So the point here is not to talk about the Tutis family unless he or she brings it up. If your Tuti brings up their own family, then feel free to talk about it. But if they don't bring up their family, then just talk about family in general terms. For the film that we're going to discuss, the next part would be to talk about foods uh, because really the two uh, main ideas um, are about family and food. So uh, you could ask questions like, are all foods fresh? How else might you find food in a grocery store? Um, so like, what? how are these foods prepared, they're prepared in a can, you can find them frozen or in plastic bags, um, in the cooler section. Uh, what kinds of food do they eat? And then because this is uh, a film that really addresses beans, you should ask them specifically about beans. Do you eat beans? What kind? That kind of thing. The second part of this activity is to watch the video. So you want to watch it through completely one time. So if you click on this link, uh, it'll take you to the video. I might show you a quick small part of it um, shortly. And then you're going to watch it a second time together. This time you want to pause periodically to talk about what was seen. So if you have a student who's a beginner, um, have them tell you some of the vocabulary words that they can identify in the film. For high beginners and low intermediate students, have them tell you in a sentence or two what they're noticing. For high intermediate students, have them summarize verbally each part of the story. So it's important to um, have them do this verbally, these activities verbally first, because uh, then they're recalling words in English. Um, writing is much harder than speaking for English language learners, so speaking leads towards better writing through vocabulary, through um, sentence structure that they're using, through conversation. Um, so you're going to get a better written product by starting with a, a spoken activity. The third part of this activity is writing. Okay, so at each level, for beginners, have them write some of the vocabulary words that they told you. If they can't spell um, yet, if they don't have enough knowledge of alphabet and uh, the, the alphabet symbolic um, representation of sound, you may need to have them copy the words that you're writing based on what they've told you. So vocabulary words they told you, you write them down, they copy. If they can attempt to write them on their own, 
uh, with just, you know, a couple spelling errors here or there, um, then have them write the words on their own. For high um, beginners or low intermediate, play the film again and then pause it periodically so they can write sentences about what they see. So it's kind of like now you're going to pause it again like you did the first time, but this time they're going to write what they told you. They're going to write the sentences about what they're noticing um, and you can support them as needed if they're asking about wording or how to spell something. Um, feel free to help as needed. For the high intermediate students, watch the film again. So this is the third time you're watching the film and then have them take notes on each part of the film as they're watching. Okay, so you're going to have them jot down some points about um, events that are occurring or uh, main themes that they're encountering as they're watching the film. Then they're going to use those notes to write a summary of the film. How do they write a summary? Alright, so I kind of stole the idea from this website uh, because it's kind of a straightforward way of looking at summarizing a film. Uh, so you're going to make a long story short, <laughs> okay, based on this film. Um, so summary, these are points you could share with your, your 2D as well. Sh summaries are much shorter than the original, so you're not going to talk about every little thing that they've seen, just the main points. Uh, so include main ideas along with the character, plot, and setting. Uh, paraphrasing, uh, you know, this is something that at the high intermediate level you could start talking about, especially if your 2T is interested in going to college at some point. If not, I probably wouldn't worry too much about it. Have a good opening sentence and a conclusion. It's always really important to focus on paragraph structure um, when you are writing. So an introduction would would be the main idea of the story um, and then your supporting sentences would be some of the main points, the, um, the, the main events that happened throughout the film. And then the conclusion is, is what did you learn from it? What was the lesson to be, be had from, from the film? Okay, uh, so the points, um, the how to do this, watch a video and take notes. Uh, the final story will be a one to two paragraph summary that describes two things, the story, so your setting, the main characters, the plot, and main ideas, um, and then the writer's idea about the story's message. So like I said, I would start with um, the theme as your opening sentence. Then you could talk about the setting, the main characters, and, and the plot um, as your uh, body sentences. And then your conclusion would be, what is the story's message? If you are looking for some alternative activities that you could do with your 2T um, based on this film. Um, so for the high beginner to intermediate, um, you could write a script for the characters and do voiceovers using the script as you watch the film again. I've done this, it's really fun, where you, you create um, a conversation between the characters uh, and as, you watch the film again, each of you uh, take different parts and uh, you know you can change your voices or be silly about it, it's kind of fun. Uh, another activity you could do uh, with your intermediate 2T is to write what the main character's childhood might have been like. I'll show you a bit of the film and it will make more sense because we see pictures at the beginning of the main character growing up. So you could use those pictures to create a story about his imagined childhood. So uh, you could talk about it in the past tense, if that's a, a tense you've been working on. 
For beginners, again, it comes down to vocabulary. Um, identify items that the English word is unknown for. Write down the words with a drawing or native word correlation. So you're going to increase vocabulary through film watching. All right, so I'm going to go back and show you a part of the film. So I've got my essay written, After the and I've been working on it for about a week. So now I'm going to show you how I use Grammarly to edit. From day dot, young Jeff had a curious and unshakable love for beans. Okay, so feel free to watch this on your own at another time, but um, I just wanted to show that a little bit to you so you could um, see what this film was all about.